In this video, we'll focus on the creation of a transaction in Scenario Builder. Transactions encapsulate actions for the purpose of measuring their response times. Let's start by opening a scenario that I've already created. This one launches the NRG Global website and logs into the private area of the site. I'll go ahead and play this, and then we can discuss adding a transaction. So this scenario successfully launches and logs into the website. The execution report shows the overall time elapsed, but what if we need to know how long it takes for just the login portion of the scenario to complete? To determine this, we'll create a transaction. Transactions basically measure the time it takes for actions to complete. Transactions can include a single action or a series of actions and they can be added at any time during or after the creation of a scenario. From the Actions window, we'll drag Begin Transaction into the Scenario window before the Click on Image action that clicks the Login button. Giving the transaction a meaningful name is important, as this is how it will appear on graphs and reports. We'll call ours Login Time. Next, we'll drag End Transaction into the scenario window. We'll put it after the find image action that finds the logout icon on the web page. The logout icon is only present when a user is logged in. So for our scenario, it's an ideal indicator of a successful login. To recap, we've framed the actions we want to measure with the begin transaction and end transaction actions. Let's clean up the desktop and play back our scenario. Taking a look at the execution report, we now see the status and elapsed time of not only the scenario, but also of the login time transaction. After we set reference time, we can see that our overall scenario reference time and our transaction reference times have been established. Well done.